Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. Okay, guys, Brandon Baldwin here at CES. We are going to take a look at the Sony Xperia Z and the Sony Xperia ZL, and I've got Brian Tong here from Sony. He's going to explain some of the major differences and similarities of the two phones. Uh, would you care to just uh, go ahead and elaborate on that? I appreciate sure, absolutely. it. So uh, Sony just announced two new models. Uh, the Z is our flagship flagship device, and the ZL is our complementary device. Uh, it's sort of extend that uh, Z family. Z in uh, Sony is usually the most highest end, and this allows our consumers so, to... So this is the Z right here, the Z. Yep, and this, and this is, is the ZL. ZL. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, in terms of uh, differences, so this is IP57 rated, making it uh, waterproof and uh, dustproof, or okay. water resistant, dust resistant, water resistant, uh, either one meter deep or 30 minutes long. Okay. Uh, on the sides here, uh, both devices are fairly comparable, but then you can also notice the size differences. The ZL is actually smaller um, and it's slightly thicker. Uh, aside from that, we also have an infrared chip built on the side. So the ZL is going to have infrared uh, right out of the box along with a remote control app uh, pre-installed. Now what's neat about the remote control app is it turns your phone instantly to a universal remote. Not only can you program it to your TV, DVD, or Blu-ray player, uh, not only, it also supports multiple manufacturers. Okay. So Sony, every manufacturer from A to Z, uh, we got you covered. Okay. Awesome. Uh, and the and the, the, the processor and the screen are still the same, correct? Yeah, so they're both using a 5-inch display. Uh, what's impressive about the ZL, though, is we managed to fit the 5-inch display onto a smaller, uh, a smaller body, so it takes up about 75% of the overall chassis of the phone. Uh, the processors, they're both using the quad-core 1.5 gigahertz uh, crate processors, second gen, okay. of course. And how much memory do these have? Uh, two gigs of RAM. Uh, okay. Both are going to be pre-installed with uh, 16 gigs of internal memory, expandable with uh, micro SD. So uh, the front-facing camera placement is also different on both devices. Uh, on the Z, Z, we have it on the top left corner, and on the ZL, we have it on the bottom right. The thinking behind it is in order to get the phone to the size that it is, uh, we had to move the front-facing camera here, otherwise it would have added an additional two millimeters to the top. Awesome, so that basically covers the differences between the Sony Xperia Z or Z uh, versus the ZL. Uh, if I flip these over, you can kind of see on the back, uh, this has a kind of glass display, this kind of has a matte, almost plastic kind of display. Exactly. Uh, and the, also the camera placement on the back is a little bit different. You got it in the middle with an LED flash and you got it on the top with the uh, Z. So we're really excited about these phones, uh, love to see how they perform actually in the field. And uh, since our channel does drop tests, we can't wait to actually drop test these things and see how well they survive. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in for the comparison between the Sony Xperia Z and the ZL. Uh, and thanks to Brian here yeah, for, for helping sure. out. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks again to Ford.